Hey, hey, hello, down here. Hello, I'm Leah Finnegan, and these are my miniatures. I like to find miniatures that are really weird. Small versions of things that you wouldn't expect to be small. I'm a very small person, and a fun fact about me is that I actually have a growth condition where I didn't produce my own growth hormone as a child, so I was like extremely, extremely little. Hi, I'm Polly Pocket. Let's have fun in my playhouse together. I was like a Polly Pocket fanatic. Wow. I always really wanted a traditional dollhouse, but my parents wouldn't get me one. They said they were too expensive. So I collected miniatures like outside of the dollhouse sphere. So it's been a lifelong thing. And now that I'm old and I have my own income, I can dedicate some of it to collecting non-traditional miniatures. This mug is one of my oldest miniatures. I completely forget where it came from, but as you can see, it has my name on it. So it's my mug and no one else can use it. And you can fit like two drops of liquid in it. For a while, I just had the mug and then I was browsing the site Etsy one night and I found this woman who made all these really strange miniatures of food. So. Another miniature I got was this mini pot of beans. And I think when I saw it for sale, I've never identified more with an object than this mini pot of beans. My friend Lindsay bought me a miniature set while she was on a trip to LA. And she introduced me to this specific brand of miniatures called Rement, which is out of Japan. And they make really amazing, unique sets of miniatures. And one set I looked forever for was the convenience store set. So that's like, I think my favorite collection. This is a mini ice cream cone, a can of Pringles, a tin of Danish cookies that you can also use to store sewing supplies. There are Pringles in the tin. You can pour them out and eat them. Don't eat them. Especially mine because it's a collector set. Don't eat the Pringles. This is definitely something I've been doing my entire life. Up until college, like most, most of high school was spent, you know, watching 2020 and rearranging my miniatures. I was not, I was not cool. The thing about minis is that like, even though some of them are really elaborate and some are collector's items, they're still pretty cheap. So, you know, doing the cost benefit analysis, it's, it's really worth it to be collecting miniatures because I enjoy them so much.